Hello, my name is Watson. We first met Watson in 2011. IBM's supercomputer took on the two champions of Jeopardy and won. Of 77,147. In the moment of victory, IBM knew there was a tremendous opportunity for this groundbreaking question and answer technology called cognitive computing. Watson Chief Technology Officer Rob High says Watson has evolved since Jeopardy. So this is one of the labs IBM has. Right. And Watson doesn't quite look like this. Not quite. Watson is now smaller, smarter, and is poised to disrupt entire industries. Our decision at the time was to focus on places where we knew that we could have a tremendous impact. So show me the Watson app. Healthcare is Watson's first commercial application. The supercomputer is absorbing millions of pages of medical research and patient histories and giving advice in an instant. Doctors in private practice are doing beta tests, while doctors at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York are partnering with IBM to fill Watson with information about cancer. It could revolutionize the way that we make decisions for patient care. And Watson is actually learning using natural language processing to learn medical jargon, nuances, even doctor's abbreviations. We've taught Watson the language of medicine, not the science of medicine. Watson is more precise than a search engine. If doctors type in high fever, a search engine will pull up articles containing the words high fever. By comparison, Watson understands that high fever and elevated temperature or body temperature above you know, normal all mean the same thing. So it's going to find documents that you wouldn't find under normal search. And then there's cutting through the bureaucracy. Health insurance company WellPoint is already using an early version of Watson to process medical claims. And that could cut the time a patient waits for a claim to be approved from up to three days to only three seconds in some cases. Watson is also learning the language of banking with Citibank using the technology for financial services. Next, IBM plans to use Watson to help organizations better understand their customers. We think that this is going to be as big in the future as, say, transactional systems have been in the past. Because again, we've transformed the way that we apply computing to solving business problems. And using Watson to sort through big data could mean big bucks for IBM. The company raised its revenue expectations for 2015 from $16 billion to $20 billion. Watson is expected to help it reach that target. Is the sky the limit? You know, the opportunity is so broad that I don't know that you can distinguish between the sky and heaven. I mean, I think it just keeps on going. I think it's just, uh, just tremendous, tremendous opportunity.